Hey everybody, Sean here from Excelsior Sabres. Got another build to show you today. This is a Graflex 2.0 kit and it's set up as you can see in the Empire Strikes Back configuration. This has a Crystal Focus 8. It has a Tri-Cree LED which is a blue, blue, white. It has the Custom Saber Shops Premium Speaker and it also has a Darth Rio Night Chassis with a Crystal Chamber. So just a real quick overview of the hilt. The 2.0 kit is a great a great kit to start with if you if you're interested in building your own lightsaber. It's very economical and it's very user friendly. Uh, there are a few if you're a total accuracy nut kind of like I am there may be a few things you'll want to upgrade. For example you'll see here I have these dark red plastic buttons. I Those did not come with the kit. I got those from the Graflex shop. Originally the 2.0 kit comes with uh, these as red anodized which I mean it's not that big of a deal but it does look a little bit off so that was like the one thing I really wanted to upgrade as far as the hilt's concerned. I mean overall the rest of it it's not too much of an issue you know you've got uh, the clamp tape here, uh, the the bus card, the computer edge card here in the clamp, that's just the one that came with the kit. And the the grips, all that stuff, you know, that that's, comes with it. So it's really, like I said, it's a very economical option. It's very easy to use and put together. I did weather the hilt a bit. So you'll see up here I used some bluing solution uh, to darken the the brass pins and to give them a more vintage look. I changed out this set screw for a slotted screw to make that match up. I also got rid of the beer tab as it's called. I didn't do anything with this, I just left the Allen screw there. That's very nice and solid and it's kind of a minor detail. You can, KR Sabres does make a piece here if, if you want to replace that. So that is available. Now uh, up here I actually designed my own blade plug. So this is a part I did, I made on my computer and had Shapeways printed out. And uh, yeah, here we go. So it's nothing complicated. I just wanted something really simple that would be durable, you know, to hold up. It's very strong, it's tough. I mean, it does flex a bit, but you can apply some pretty solid pressure to it. It's not gonna crack. And that's what I needed because the thumb screw, the blade thumb screw is right here. And this has got to stand up to that over time being tightened down again and again, which it will. So, so I had that made. Now I'll open up the hilt here a bit and I'll show you what it looks like inside. And then I'll fire it up for you. Okay. So there's the crystal chamber. So you can see in here, again, this is a Darth Rio Knight chassis, and this does have a real quartz crystal. I put that inside there, and I did actually modify this chassis a little bit. Originally, these kind of spiral-shaped arms that wrap around the whole crystal, they extended all the way up, but I actually cut the top half of those off just because I wanted to expose more of the crystal to make it look a little more open so you could see that better, and uh, I really like the way that looks. I also, what I did, the other modification I did, which really isn't a big deal, but you're supposed to put these like brass rods in into the chassis and glue them in. Well, I used copper uh, just because I like that color, but I, I didn't put them on this side. I just instead put some extra Graflex pins in there. And again, the idea was on this side of it, I wanted to keep it more open so that you could see that crystal a little better. So. Again, even the inside, I also weathered it, so I wanted it, the whole thing to have a unified look. Uh, remember, this is Luke's lightsaber, right? This is this is originally Anakin's. It went through the Clone Wars. Uh, it survived being on Tatooine for 20-something years, plus Luke took it to Dagobah. So this, this lightsaber has been all over the place. So you can imagine it's pretty well weathered. In order to do the weathering, I actually just used some paint and... I used rust enamel paint, testers rust as it's called, and also some black enamel. And I just worked it into various areas in the hilt to make it look kind of like grime and kind of like a little bit of rust here and there. But there's no real rust on this, obviously. It's just, it's just an effect. It's just paint. I did also use some Fuller's Earth 
and I sprinkled that into little places and used some uh, oil and rubbed it down to make it look like it had some dirt and grime kind of built up into it. But overall it's a very subtle effect. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on now again. The switches, the other thing I forgot to mention is the switches are located underneath the clamp card. Okay, here we go. So I'll turn it around for you. Okay, so that's the crystal chamber. All right, let's get this thing reassembled. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a demo. So this font that I'm using is Fates by Mad Cow. So this has flash on clash, nice and bright, has blaster deflection, lock up, okay, and then power down, you just press the button and hold it down for about a second or so, then it deactivates. In order to change the font, you just press the aux switch, press it once, and press, well, hold it down until it beeps, and then, yeah. Hold it down till it beeps and then press it again and then it'll go to the sound fonts. So these are just some sound fonts I have on here. These are not the ones that come on the stock Crustal Focus 8 sound card. You have to buy these online. I got them from saberfont.com. Hoth, now Hoth does come with it. Okay, so that's the, the Hoth sound font. All right, so in about a minute I'm gonna go outside, but just to wrap up, um, the Empire Strikes Back version of this lightsaber is really a classic design. Although personally, I like the A New Hope version better. I like, I'm a fan of the bubble strip, and I just think it's got a very nice, clean, elegant look. Um, the, I mean, how can you not like this one though? I mean, it's the Empire Strikes Back. You know, that's probably, arguably the best movie in the entire saga. It's such an epic movie. It's it's fantastic. I mean, that's I could watch that movie over and over again. It never gets old. It's action packed. It has a great story. It's just it's an all around great movie. So, you know, building this particular version of this lightsaber, it's it's really something special. It's a great thing. It's a great thing to have and to own. And uh, I'm really happy to have been able to make it. Okay, so next we're gonna go outside, and I'll show you more about the Crystal Focus 8 and its sensitivity. Fire this up for you here. There we go. All right. So one thing when I like to build these, one thing I don't like is having it too sensitive. So you'll notice there's no swing sound going on, even though I'm moving it. That's how I want it. Because if you have it too sensitive, basically anytime you flick your wrist, the thing's gonna start making swing sounds. It's gonna sound ridiculous. If you turn it off for a second and you just move the stick around, the, the polycarbonate blade by itself, if you move it like this, I don't hear any noises. But if I go like this, ah, well now that made a noise. So that's kind of how I imagine like a real lightsaber would work. So that's how I like to set this up with the sound parameters, with the motion, the motion sensitivity. So you have to really give it a, you gotta swing it a little bit to get it to trigger that sound. All right, but this, I mean, you can see now, this is what's great about the Crystal Focus 8, is how sensitive it is. It, it picks up everything that you do. Every move is matched. Yeah, even, even that, right? Okay, so you see it's got the clash sounds as well. It's got the flash on clash, it's really nice. It's starting, the sun just went down, so it's starting to get dark. So hopefully you can see that on camera a little bit better. Give you a little deflections, lock up. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Combo sounds. Who doesn't like Duel of the Fates on your lightsaber? This is Fates by Mad Cow, by the way. This is my favorite sound font.
So you hear the spin sounds, you hear the clash sounds. Got to do your senseless spin, of course. So you had a nice little stab sound, I don't know if you heard that. Okay. And you know, while I'm here, let me show you some other sound fonts we've got in here. Sound okay. Fates. Revenge. Hero. Greedy. This is your, this is the sound font for the A New Hope, the A New Hope Graflex. So this is supposed to sound just like when Luke fires it up in the middle of Obi-Wan Kenobi's hut on Tatooine, right? So you hear a mix, uh, as far as the blaster deflection, you hear a mix of the like actual blaster sounds and you also hear the training remote. There it is, training remote, right? So this is a really nice font. I think this is by one sip. Alright, so that should give you an idea what Crystal Focus 8 sounds like. Uh, it's definitely the best soundboard, in my opinion, on the market. And um, man, things have come a long way since the days of Master Replicas. What's this? A lightsaber cheese knife? Oh.